Welcome back, CA. This is episode 8 of the Lit Kit, How to Write a News Report. So on every test, there's a question about a news report. So in this report, we have to refer to this picture and the headline. So in this example, we're going to look at school team qualifies for finals. That's the headline. And the, this is the picture that is associated with this headline. So let's focus first on the picture itself. I'm looking to see... I know something about a team, so let's see what sport. In, um, in my opinion, from these jerseys, it appears that these players are either uh, volleyball players or basketball players. So between the two, we can choose. I think I'm going to choose basketball. And then I see there's ladies and there are also gentlemen between these students. So it seems that they are playing on a co-ed team, meaning boys and girls. So that's something I'm going to mention in the news report. The headline is qualifies for finals, so again, that's something that we want to refer to. They've done probably very well. And so when I'm thinking about the who, what, where, when, why, and how, I'm going to make reference to these items that I've uh, observed in the picture and in the headline. This is the space you will have to write, and as you can see, the picture is there for you, as is the headline. Let's look at a sample, and here's a new strategy for you to use that is called triangle, circle, and square. This sample relates directly to the caption and the picture. The school team qualifies for finals. First thing to notice is you are writing your test on March 31st, 2016, so that's the date I've chosen for the news report. An easy way to begin the news report is with yesterday. Why? Well, news, when people report on the news, has already taken place. It's in the past. So to begin with yesterday is an easy way to get the answer to one of the W's. When? Yesterday on Wednesday, March 30th. Again, I'm using Wednesday, March 30th because I know you are writing the test March 31st. Cardinal Ambrosic Secondary School's co-ed basketball team advanced to the finals. Remember, we saw it was a co-ed basketball team because I made the decision that it was basketball. You could choose another sport. And co-ed because it seemed like there were girls and boys in that picture. So that tells us they've advanced to the finals. That explains what. We've also answered the question of who. Cardinal and Bozic Secondary School's team. So right away, in practically one sentence, we've answered three of these questions. Let's continue. The qualifying game was played at St. Thomas Aquinas. That answers where. Now, I've chosen St. Thomas Aquinas because most of you are probably familiar with our neighboring school. You can choose any school you would like. You can make up a completely new one or another one that you're familiar with. As long as the information makes sense, you are free to do as you please. It was a challenging game, but Ambrosic outplayed their strongest opponents, winning by a score of 99 to 89. This is the first year that Ambrosic will be playing in the finals after being undefeated all season. So what's happened? Well, they qualified for the finals. Why? They won and they were undefeated all season. So that is our triangle. Moving on to the second paragraph. Here, we're going to use a circle. In the circle, we want to think about how and why, but we want to go into more depth. We're going to be a little bit more creative about the supporting details. And again, we want to make sure we relate to the headline and the picture. So let's begin. Cardinal Ambrosic started off slow with the opposing team taking a 20-16 to 16 lead after the first quarter. Basketball is played in quarters. Again, we refer back to the picture because we decided we're going to choose the sport of basketball. However, after halftime, the team stepped it up, pulling off some gravity-defying shots and an amazing slam dunk by Jane Smith. Slam dunk. That happens in basketball. We're referring to the headline and the picture. And Jane Smith. I've created Jane Smith, but you can use a real name. You can use your friend's name. You can use a celebrity's name. As long as it makes sense in the context of what you're writing. Use what you know. It's probably your greatest tool. The players continued to demonstrate the cooperation and team spirit that had contributed to their previous wins. We know they won because before I said they were undefeated. So something had to contribute to these wins, and we've made mention of it here. An undefeated season does not come without its price. Teammates displayed extraordinary commitment and dedication to their sport through hours of daily practice and rigorous training. It has certainly paid off. Well, when I think about 
any athletes, any great athletes, NBA, WNBA, thinking NHL or NFL, I think about the fact that athletes have to practice. They're dedicated. They have commitment, daily practice, rigorous training. They do a lot of work uh, in addition to having some natural talents. We want to make notice of that because we've said that our team has been undefeated and there's likely a cause. So these are the reasons why we are answering how and why. We've made up our supporting details using what we know and relating back to our headline and our picture. Finally, our last paragraph, we're going to add two quotations from people who've experienced the events. That's called the square. Now, a quotation is someone's direct words. They've said this, and we place them in quotation marks, as is the first line. Our quotation marks are right here. So let's see what we've written. We've had an amazing season, but our hardest game is still to come, stated Jane Smith, team captain. I've related to Jane Smith again because she was mentioned in paragraph two. She's the team captain. We know that there are boys and girls who play on this team. And she said something about the amazing season and the future of the team. So that's a great place to introduce, again, a player. Maybe you want to talk about someone else from the school that you um, are aware of, a principal, a vice principal, one of your teachers, your friends, etc. Coach Chung said, see, that's exactly what I've done. I know that Coach Chung coaches our basketball team, so I've made a reference to what I've already known into this paragraph. Regardless of the outcome, I am very proud of the dedication and effort of this team. If we keep playing like we have, I am confident we could be champions. Again, that's a direct quote, so I'm using quotation marks. And that's what he has said about the team. So that's a good place to put in our square. And finally, we have one last sentence to close our news report. Fans are welcome to cheer for their team next week at the finals. We know that the team qualified for the finals, so it has not yet taken place. That means that this is upcoming, next week at the finals, and that's a good way to end our news report. So triangle, circle, and square, you can think of the colors, you can think of the shapes, and remember to use what you already know. Stay tuned, CA, for the next episode of The Lit Kit.